Okay, this is going to be about motive. So if you click into motive, you will want to hit log in. You should all have your login credentials. You will have your username and then your password will be those six digits and hit submit. It's always going to say it's going to retrieve your log, so it takes a second here. Once the home screen pulls up, uh, you can see lots of different information on here. The first thing you want to do whenever you sign in to your tablet, you always have to connect it to your vehicle. Down here at the bottom, it says no vehicle selected. That's the first thing you always have to do if you sign out of Motive and sign back in after the weekend. Um, if you're just going on regular off duty or in sleeper from day to day, it should uh, keep you linked to the truck. Otherwise, this is the first thing you need to do. And there's two different ways you can do this. I will show you both. The first one down here on the bottom of the home screen, you can see your off duty and no vehicle selected. If you click on it, this screen pulls up and you want to connect it to a new vehicle. So if you click on that blue bar, you choose your tractor number. We're in training. It's going to prompt you to do a pre-trip inspection. So you want to go ahead and hit continue. All this information will pull from your truck. You don't need to worry about the parts tab. And then just go over to sign with the red exclamation point. Hit sign inspection report. Go ahead and put your signature in there and hit done and save. You have to hit that same button twice. And it will say vehicle inspection complete. Would you like to add a trailer inspection? If you're hooked to a trailer, go ahead and hit yes. If you're not hooked to a, to a trailer yet and still have to go pick it up, hit not now. So we'll act as if we are. It'll pull your trailer ID from your logs. So you wanna make sure it's current on your logs. If this is the wrong trailer number, just hit the back button and enter your correct trailer number. If it's correct, go ahead and hit next. Again, this information will pull from your truck. You don't need to worry about your odometer reading for trailer inspections. Uh, just go over to sign, hit sign inspection report. It pulls up your signature and hit done and save. So it will now connect to your vehicle. You should see two green lights on your gateway and then it's going to put you on duty from doing your pre-trip inspection. So on the home screen, this is where you can also change your duty status, whether you need to go off duty, sleeper, on duty, or if you need to go into PC, add in your notes why, or same thing with yard move. Just say what customer you're at and go ahead and hit save. We'll just go back though, maybe. So I'll actually turn the tablet this way since this is how you guys normally view it. Give it a second here to refocus. So again, if you click on that bottom part on the home screen, again, changing your duty status. If you see it this way, you need to make sure that you go to the bottom of the screen and hit save because you won't see it unless you go to the bottom of the screen and hit save to save your change of duty status. You're connected to your vehicle and then you can also see your clocks and then if you run on recaps it shows you there at the bottom um, on the home screen you can also see your logs support brings you to a moda support page documents we don't do anything with currently so uh, don't try to scan in your documents through there remember that's through mcleod the other app not through motive uh, compliance if you have any unsigned logs maybe previously or over the weekend you can sign them all off right there under compliance they'll pop up in red maintenance messages and then performance so these three dash lines up on the left hand corner is called the hamburger if you go ahead and click on that it brings you to all of the other tabs here on motive so next would be your logs so underneath that hamburger, you can also see your duty status. So if you click on it, this is where you can also change your duty status. So say we want to go into yard move, 
add in your notes that customer and hit save. It'll show you right here in green yard move enabled. It says the same thing if you were to go into PC. And then if you want to disable it before you drive off, you can either change your duty status if you want to go off duty, or you can just hit disable on the right hand side and hit yes, and it'll disable it for you. So on the logs here, you can see today's grid, Friday, December 2nd, and then you will actually see the last 14 days. So anything you need to do inside today's grid, um, editing your logs, adding your trailer number, your shipment number, or adding inspections, you have to click on the grid. It brings you to today's grid and today's events. So to edit any of these events, all you have to do, let's see here, which one? This is the most. So you just click on any of the events you want to edit and go ahead and hit edit. You can either move these gray lines or you can hit the start time or end time and it manually put in whatever time you wanted there. Just say we wanted to stay in sleeper. Just go into sleeper. We'll have to add in a location. And our notes to say why. And then hit save. And then it saves it under sleeper right there. So that's how you can edit your logs. Uh, the next tab, form, up at the top, this is where you will change your trailer number and your shipping document would be your order number. So you only want to keep your tr current trailer number in here. So back out of any of your old trailer numbers, just keep your current trailer number in here. And then your shipping document is where you would change your order number at, whatever that is. Go ahead and hit save. Sign, this is if you need to sign off on any log. And then inspection on the right hand side. This is where you add any inspections. Um, it'll bring up previous inspections for today, but if you need to add, if you're picking up a new trailer, hit the plus button and hit trailer inspection. See how it changed uh, my trailer number since I updated it on our logs and I updated our trailer number. Go ahead and hit next. This will pull from your truck. You can specify right here, inspection type. We'll say pre-trip for our new trailer and just go over to sign with the red exclamation point, hit sign inspection report and hit done and save that same button twice again. And it adds it in there. So that's how you would add your inspection there. Um, if you're on, go back and then you're on the main logs page. If you slide your finger to the left, it pulls up uh, your clocks. If you ever do split clocks, you have to have a qualifying event and it will let you show the split clocks. And then again, you can see your recaps if you ever run on recaps. If you scroll, swipe it this way, again, it pulls up all those different tabs. So next would be DOT inspection mode. Um, they must probably just have you do the send output file. Uh, performance there eventually it'll get used to how you drive give you a score tell you what to improve on and then messages if it's your first time on the tablet and you need to start a message you would need to hit the plus button scroll down and hit pull transportation TMS that's the only one we would like you guys to use so far this will bring up all your messages with them and you can just go go ahead type out your message and uh, you'll be talking to dispatch and you'll get any uh, fleet messages through there also. And then we got dispatches. So the two tabs you will use most is dispatches and your logs. So if you go ahead to dispatches, you always have to refresh the page for some reason. By pulling it down, you get that little circle button and it refreshes the page. Sometimes it might not show anything like it did for me when I first touched it you always have to refresh the page. So to send your fuel message, you gotta scroll down to the bottom and it's under additional forms. This will bring up a whole bunch of forms, scroll down again and you go to fuel purchased. Click on it and you can enter your gallons exactly and send it. 
go back. If we want to go through our dispatches, here is our order number 7287. Let's go add it to our logs. So let's go to logs. Again, you got to click on today's grid. Go to form. And then it's shipping document. Two, eight, seven. And hit save. So what updated, it's now current on our logs, that order number. So if you go back to dispatches and hit review and accept. If you go ahead and click into the pickup, either on the arrow or if you just click on that customer, it'll have your pickup window, the location, the address. This is the navigation bar and it'll pull Google Maps. And then if you scroll down, underneath comments will have all your uh, local directions, customer information, everything you need to know will be here at the bottom. If you go back, same thing. If you scroll down into your delivery, if you click on it, It'll also have your pickup window, those directions, and then all your customer information here at the bottom of the screen. So if you reviewed it all and you're good to go, you can go ahead and hit accept dispatch and you'll want to accept it. And then you will want to hit start dispatch and hit yes, you're ready to start. The first one will unlock it once you to arrive at the shipper. Um, it will automatically, should automatically arrive you, pop up on your screen asking if you have arrived, yes or no. Um, since we're not in a truck and at the customer, we'll just have to manually do it here and we just have to hit submit. Green check mark, you're good to go. And then we got your loaded call. So if you click on that, this is where we want to know your inbound trailer, your outbound trailer, and then it has pieces and weight on here. So if you bobtailed in, just put BT, um, your outbound trailer, add that number in there pieces weight and then you don't need to worry about putting anything in the comment and then just hit submit and then depart shipper once you depart um, drive off it will automatically depart you or you can manually depart it just by hitting submit now your delivery unlocks so once you to arrive at the consignee again it will automatically arrive you and ask you or you can manually do it and then your empty call this is where we want to know your inbound trailer. Um, if it's a live unload, obviously these trailer numbers will be the same. And then your outbound trailer. Um, it also asks here, did you drop the trailer? On the other side of the screen, there's a little box. You can check box it. And then it should pull your odometer reading and you can just go ahead and hit submit. You're good to go and then depart constantly. So you can drive off, it will depart you or you can manually do it. Now you might think that you were all done because you see all the green check marks, but let me show you something here. So it will show active underneath here and then once to review if other dispatches have come through, but you wanna make sure you hit complete dispatch and hit yes, and then it will send it to us and it'll clear out of your dispatches. So if you don't do that, they're all gonna stay active inside of your dispatches. So you wanna hit yes whenever we go back it disappears and you're good to go. And then you can start working on your next dispatch. So that's about dispatches. Uh, documents, again, you don't need to do anything with. Help and support, uh, that'll bring you to motive. And then settings here. Um, the only thing is if you want it to read you those messages, just go to settings, scroll down to notifications. Just make sure those bottom two say on and then it will be able to read you messages whenever you're driving. Other than that, if you would like to log out uh, for your weekend home time, this is how you would go to log out. Um, say we're still on duty, just go to the hamburger, scroll down and hit log out. So you kind of have to do things twice here. So you wanna hit log out for a first time. It's gonna ask you to leave your current vehicle to log out from the app, just hit okay. And you have to hit leave current vehicle again in blue and it's gonna prompt you to do that post-trip inspection on your vehicle since you're leaving it for the weekend. So you go ahead and hit continue. Again, this will pull from your truck. Just go over to sign with the red exclamation point, hit sign inspection report, and hit done and save. Your vehicle inspection is complete. Would you like to do a trailer inspection? So if you keep your tractor and trailer hooked over the weekend together, you can go ahead and say yes. 
if you dropped your trailer previously off at a different lot or where you normally keep it, go ahead and hit not now because you want to make sure before this step that you already done your post trip for your trailer if you dropped it somewhere else for your weekend home time. But if you stay hooked, you can hit yes. It'll pull your trailer number from your logs. You just hit next. Again, you just go over to sign, hit sign inspection report, and hit done and save. So it brings you back to the same screen, and this is where you might think you might be logged out, but you're not. You have to hit log out for a second time, and then you wanna hit go off duty. If you hit just log out on the left side, it's gonna log you out, but keep you on duty from your post-trip inspection because we're still currently on duty from your post-trip inspection. So you wanna make sure you hit go off duty and it will put you off duty and log you out of motive.